Hi, I'm Dave from the Burp Standard Development Team, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the global crawl path view that is coming in Burp Suite 2023.8. So in previous versions of Burp Suite, a common workflow that people had was to contribute information to the target tab by using other tools in Burp. So you could use the proxy or you could run a crawl task. But once you'd run a crawl task, all the information about the path that the crawl took around the application were lost, and they were only available to that crawl task itself. Coming in Burp Suite 2023.8, you have the ability to run multiple crawls of the same target and have all of your crawl tasks contribute to the global view of that target. So let's jump into Burp Suite and see how it works. So here in Burp Suite 2023.8, I've got a crawl task of uh, Gin and Juice Shop, which is Portswigger's deliberately vulnerable web application. And in the target tab, I can see all of the paths that the uh, crawler took when I first crawled the application. However, that crawl was restricted to only allow it to go one link deep in the application. So if I start a second crawl of the application that's allowing it to do more actions, we'll be able to see that the crawl uh, task will start contributing and it will start populating the information from the previous crawl task. So even though it's an entirely separate crawl task, it still remembers that the action it took this time matches the same one that it saw that was possible last time. And that means that you can actually run multiple tasks with different settings and have them all contribute to the same view of the application. This has really powerful implications because if you can create a total view of what is possible to do on the site by crawling it and exploring different interesting parts of the content, you can really map out an application to its absolute fullest. In some cases, you might want to um, run a task and not have it contribute to the global view though. If you, for example, if you were playing around with different settings and trying to get the best settings for your crawl, you might want to run a crawl in complete isolation. So to do that, you go to the scan launcher and you tick the new run isolated scan button. If you run an isolated scan, you will see that the target tab appears for that scan as well as the target tab in the rest of BERP. And actually these two things are completely isolated and they won't contribute to each other and they won't conflict with each other. You still have the crawl pass tab as was available in previous versions of Burp, as well as the sitemap for that task specifically. We're still thinking of ways in which we can improve this functionality and help you get even more out of scans. So for now, give it a try and let us know any feedback that you have.